Hello, this is the first video in an online training series which is intended to help you become more familiar with the OpenAI Community Edition. These videos have been organized so that you can implement common use cases that we have seen over the years at many of our clients. Since the OpenAI Community consists of a diverse audience, we'll start with a brief discussion of what is identity and access management and how the OpenAI platform can help organizations. Most mid to large companies that we work with today have a mix of on-premise and SaaS applications. They also use cloud providers such as AWS, Azure, and Google. Each of these applications and services can potentially have its own identity store. These identity stores may in turn contain different pieces of information about the user and what they're allowed to do within each of these applications and services. However, each application may have its own policies to define the composition of the identity. For example, assume that you have an employee named Jack Sparrow. It's possible that his identity in Active Directory may be JSparrow, because attributes like SAM account name are limited to 20 characters, and the rules to generate the identity may be different from a system like Salesforce, where the account naming attribute allows for significantly more space. In that system, you may have an identity called jacks.sparrow.openam.com. Regardless of the identity generation rules which are in place for each system, we know that all of these accounts belong to the same user. However, unless each system has a unique attribute, such as an employee ID or a corporate email address, it's very difficult to know that these accounts all belong to that same user. Besides the obvious challenges in creating a unified user profile, we can't readily determine what access a person has in each application, why they have it, and when it was granted. While some companies may not have deployed an IAM platform yet, they may already be using a solution such as ServiceNow or a service desk solution such as Fresh Service or Remedy, where a, the end user can put in a request and after approval, somebody will manually fulfill the request to create an account and grant appropriate permissions. This model has several problems. First, there's no central audit log to determine who requested this access, who approved it, and when it was fulfilled. By not having a good picture of what a person has access to, we can't easily revoke their access when it's no longer needed, as would be the case when a person changes their position, goes on leave, or exits a firm. This open access creates potential security risks. Not having a good picture of what people have access to also hinders the company's ability to comply with regulatory mandates. At its most fundamental level, identity and access management solutions enable the right individuals to have access to the right resources at the right times for the right reasons. To achieve this objective, IAM solutions like OpenIAM provide integration with one or more authoritative sources, such as your HR system and your business applications, so that we can create a framework by which access can be granted to the right applications at the right time based on some criteria. Going a little bit deeper, an IAM solution like OpenAM can be used to achieve the following. First, using connectors, we can import identity information that is in these various business applications and services into the IAM system. This will provide you with a unified view of each person's access across the enterprise. Next, you can integrate with your authority here source and define the business rules and roles to determine what access a person should have under specific conditions. For example, we can create a business rule which uses attributes such as job code in the organization unit to determine which role the user should be entitled to. Once this is in place, we have a framework from which we can drive automated provisioning and deprovisioning in response to lifecycle events. This also allows us to enforce the principles of lease privilege. To summarize, an IAM platform can provide you with the following essential functionality which can help organizations improve security, support compliance with regulatory requirements, and reduce operational cost. The IAM platform should support the following to achieve our primary objectives. First, we should have integration with an authoritative source to implement automated provisioning and deprovisioning. Related to that, the system should also support reconciliation to keep the target system and IDM in sync. This allows for cases when a target application is updated outside of your IDM solution. To support lifecycle management, the solution should provide an access control model which support both business roles and business rules to provide a consistent way to provision and deprovision access. As a byproduct of these initial features, the IAM solution should provide a unified view of a user's identity and their permissions across all applications. A self-service portal should also be available so that end users can request access to applications, which can then be reviewed by the right approvers. That same portal can be used for self-service password reset, profile management, and periodic user access reviews. Last but not least, the IAM solution must provide detailed audit information so that we can determine how a user got the access that they have, when they got it, and why. In the next video, we'll cover how to install the OpenAM Community Edition. Thank you for watching.